Let's focus a bit on the interface. What's the difference between an interface and an actual um, class? Well, the interface is just a contract. So it's just um, an arrangement, a set of rules that you have to uphold to call yourself a customer service. So what we're doing here is we're going to later implement this as a customer service, but to call yourself an iCustomer service, you have to uphold the following rules that we're going to make. So we're not going to implement any code here. We're not going to write how things should be executed. We're just explaining to the system uh, who is going to use this interface to call yourself an iCustomer service, you have to have a function that can do this, 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 and this. So let's start out by making the first function. We need to have a function that can create. And right now, let the create just return the guy we're going to create. So we're going to make a customer here. Of course, we need to implement the customer from the using of the customer entity. Uh, sorry, the, the customer app entity. So we need the customer to be returned. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to make a create function right here like this. That's all I have to define. And actually, what should I create? Well, I also need a, probably a parameter right here that said I'm going to send in the customer that I want to create. Notice there's no, I'm not implementing this, so I'm not putting in the curly bracket here in the end and trying to find how you create a customer. I'm just defining what the function should look like. So now you know that to create something, you'll have to pass in a customer, and when you're done, I'll return a customer to you. Okay, the read one will have two different things we can do. One is we can read all, all customers. And let me just start out by doing this as a list. So I'm saying that I wanna return a list of customers if I call the, uh, sorry, customer, there we go. If I call the get all customers. So if I call get all like this, then I wanna return a list of customers. Notice how simple this is. I don't need to worry about how I'll implement it. I just need to figure out what should I pass in and what should I get back. And I just wanna to add to this that if you want to, you don't have to put in a list here. It could actually be what we call an I enumerable instead, uh, which is just uh, an interface of the type list. So I enumerable is, can be lists, collections, and different other ones. Uh, but you can also, if you wanna make it more readable for you and you know you're always going to pass back lists, you're allowed to actually put in a list instead right here. Uh, it could also be an I list, by the way, like this. But let's just keep it for as list for now, and I'll get back later and explain to you guys how we can actually also add this uh, in different ways. So we have the list here, and then let's also go in there and say we can actually also get a single customer with an ID. So get, uh, let's just call it get, and then in here we're going to pass in an ID that we want to get the customer uh, from. Now we could also say get by ID and call it something else. That's up to you. So now we have the CRUD, the C and the R in the CRUD. We also want to be able to update. What should we do to actually update a customer? Well, again, we could pass back the customer when we're done and then we can have an update function like this, update. We could say to update a customer, I need to pass in the customer that I actually want to update. There we go. And then the delete one, what should we do there? Well, it should be enough just to pass in an ID and again delete and let's just make an int and an ID here to say that's the customer I want to delete and again you could also pass in an entire customer here you could also decide instead of returning the actual customer just returning bool if everything went okay you could even decide to put in exception handling here throw an exception if things went went uh, sour so we could figure that out as well so these are the things that our service needs to do because how do I know this? Well, inside my program that we built and copied, I've just run over this and I can see that this is the CRUD functionality I need from the UI to be able to create, read, update, and delete customers because that's what we need in our program, right? So now the service actually lists all the things that we should be able to do um, as a UI to actually work with a customer. Let's end it there. Now you guys learned how to make an interface. Next, let's try and figure out how to actually implement an interface. See you next time.